I'm going to show you how to set up the iPhone 17 Pro. It's the same for the iPhone 17. So first thing is go ahead and turn on your iPhone. Press and hold that power button. Keep holding it until the Apple logo appears and let go. Once it boots up, you should be at this hello screen here. Go ahead and slide up from the bottom. From here, choose your language. I'm going to go with English. Choose your region or country. I'm in the U.S., so I'm going to tap on the United States. Appearance, do you want the default, do you want medium, or do you want the large? For me, I'm going to go with medium here, and I will tap on continue. Quickly set up iPhone. You can bring your current iPhone or app, iPad near this iPhone to sign into your Apple account and get set up. Or you can or you can just click down here and sign into your Apple account later, okay? I'm just going to go down here, uh, set up with another device, and I'll just sign in later. I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi network so I can get that latest update. Let me input my Wi-Fi password. Then I'm going to tap down here to join. This may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, so let's be patient here. And here's the software update. I can update now or I can do it later after setting setup, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Terms and conditions, read through all that. And if you agree, tap on agree on the bottom. Downloading software update, you get a progress bar right there. It just turned off, it's going to boot back up now. Get another progress bar right there. So my phone booted back up here. And I'm not sure why it does when I do the update, but it brings me back here. But let me just go ahead. We already did all this right here. And remember, we did this one set up with another device. Data and privacy, read through that. You can learn more down here. And then you can tap on continue. Age range, select the age range of the person using this phone. So I'm going to go with adult here. Face ID, so basically this is your face ID password. You can go in and set this up now or you can set it up later. For myself, I'm gonna set this up right now, so I'm gonna tap on continue right there. I'm gonna tap on get started and look in here and I'm gonna, you'll see. So I'm gonna do get started. I'm gonna put my face into it and then once it turns like kind of like round, I'm gonna kind of circle my head. Voila, we're done. And use Face ID with the mask. Go ahead and read through that. You can select through that. For myself, I'll just tap on Set Up Later in Settings. So the Face ID is now set up. And I'm going to tap on Continue. Now we got to create a passcode, basically a password. And if you scroll down a little bit, you have passcode options down here. So you can do some other ones. I'm just going to stick with the basic, the four digit. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my four digits now. And I'm going to re-enter. Okay, it's moving now. Transfer your apps and data. Okay, so if you have a, if you have an iCloud backup uh, with your iPhone, you can transfer everything right onto this phone. If you have another iPhone or iPad, even if you have a Mac or a Windows PC, you can still do it. Also, if you have an Android phone or a tablet, you can do that as well. So you can choose any one of those. But for me, this is a new, fresh install for me. Everything is going to be new. So I'm going to put down don't transfer anything. Asking for me to sign into my Apple account, which I'll just do that later. So I'll just skip this. I'll put forgot password. And then I'll put down oh, set up later in settings. And don't use for now. Update your phone at automatically. You can continue or only download automatically. So I'm going to tap on continue there. iMessage and FaceTime. You can go ahead and continue with that. For myself, I'm going to do not now. Location services. Go ahead and read through that. That's up to you. I'll just go ahead and turn mine on now. Now this is to set up your eSIM. Basically transfer your eSIM from one phone to over here. You can do that if you have the other phone with you, just transfer uh, from nearby iPhone or you can use a QR code, okay? I'm gonna have to get a QR code for my carrier then I'll be able to set up my new eSIM on here. So for me, I would do set up later. Skip for now. Screen time, go ahead and read through that if you wish to do that. For me, I, I'm just gonna put set up later in set, settings and never worry about that. 
uh, iPhone analytics, you can share what Apple don't share. It doesn't matter, it's up to you. I'll just share with them. Same with the app analytics. You can share with app developers or don't share for me. I will share with them. Uh, you want light, dark, or auto display. You want light, auto, where it changes throughout the day, or you want just leave it dark. I like it dark, I will tap on continue. Apple intelligence, go ahead and read through all that. If you want to set it up, tap right there. For me, I will tap set up later. Camera control, right there. Go ahead and read through that. You also have this option here, and I will tap on continue. Your action button there, you can customize it if you wish. I'm gonna go with not now. And here is Siri that you can set up now or you can do it later. I'm gonna set this one up now. Let's tap on continue and you can use one of the voices. The colors of the color, the co the, the colors of the okay, sky. Okay, I like the, colors of the, the sky number four. With the setting sun. Tap on continue. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And we're done with that. Let's tap on continue. Go ahead and read through that. You can share, not share. That's up to you for me. I'm gonna go with not now. Emergency SOS, read through all that. It could save your life. And then tap on continue. Welcome, slide up, Ooh. oh, tap on get started. And looks like we are now in business. Pretty simple.